welcome to Bella's Crochet Gifts. I'm Bella. All right, so today I have an update video with quite a few of the different make-alongs that I am participating in. And first off, I have a Litza's make-along for, um, I believe it was, let's see, hashtag Coco's Crochet 2024, I believe. Um, I'm going to link all these people down below in case you would like to participate or see what everyone else is making. Um, so Litza is doing a different um, type of project every two weeks and I'm going to catch up with a few. So one week we were doing the water, water bottle holders and I had already made one but I made the one I was telling you about, the cinnamon stitches ones from premiere week. I did alter it a bit um, to fit how I like my water bottle um, holders to begin with because I think I showed you this in the last one where I like to do in the back loop to do my turn as opposed to how she had done it but that was one of the very few changes I made so she's got the um, the puff stitches and then we had some star stitches and then um, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with the is it the blue mesa hat where she she taught us this stitch it turned out really really nice in in the water bottle holder and then I just did the the strap um, similar to the one I did in to begin with um, I can't remember if it was the exact same or not but Pretty much I got to the end and I was like, okay, it fits my bottle. I'll just make a strap. <laughs> so I'm not sure if it's the same or not, but that's how it turned out. So there was that one. And then she had, she had a couple that I was, I, I was going to participate with, but it wasn't one I'm going to make a lot of because I don't have a need for them. And the next she had was baskets. So I made a little Oh, just a little basket. Uh, this is out of blanket yarn. Um, I believe I got this on clearance from Joann's a while ago and it's like, it was a good deal. And I was like, well, it could turn into something. And I, I was thinking actually cat beds, but so there's my basket. It's very easy. I didn't use a oh, it's got my hair in it already. <laughs> I didn't use any form of a, um, pattern or anything I just made a circle and then went up so very easy and then then she had eyeglass holders and um, I did blanket yarn again and it does fit eyeglasses One so eyeglasses it's not the most effective but it would cushion it you know if it was in a bag or something but I'm wearing my glasses usually, otherwise I don't have them with me, so it doesn't really make sense. Anyways, but I can always send them on their way to someone who might enjoy them. I don't know. <laughs> so those were my, uh, my entries, I guess. Ooh, got a little bit of fiber. So those were the ones that I've done for... Uh, her make along so far. Um, I believe I believe she's doing hot pads right now and I haven't had a chance to work on those. Um, a lot of times the hot pads I do is a lot of single crochet or half double crochet. Like I make the the kind where you make a strip and then you just keep going around in circle until it folds in on itself and that takes a lot of time and I haven't felt like working with kitchen cotton recently and I'm not going to spend nice cotton on a hot pad. You know what I mean? So I will get one done, but I'm not like, yay. <laughs> so I will make something for that. And then I have uh, Neva from Manic Mama Musings make along and it is, let's see, Music Theory 101. And she is doing an album cover every week. And I've got three more squares to show you. So 
we've got. This is Stevie Nicks Belladonna. And there's the ones I did for that. So I thought, you know, I was just like drawn to the the lighter shades and I was like, okay. And then of course there's black, so put it around. So I thought that was good. And then we had Joan Jett and Bad Reputation. So, and I was really drawn to all the purples. Like it was very subtle, but there were quite a few colors of purple in there. So we have the lighter we have this middle tone and then we have this really gorgeous eggplant and then of course the black so I was like oh so pretty it's gonna look really nice in a blanket and then finally for this one I have Billie Holiday Lady Sings the Blues and this is what I did for that one so I used a it's kind of like a jean wash one in the center and then we have the silver and then we have this nice dark blue I know her colors were a little bit lighter but this is what I had on hand and I still think it feels like in the same vein as the poster um, I'm not trying to open new skeins to match perfectly I'm just trying to use up scraps that I already have so that's what I did with this one. All right. So that was my three squares I have for Neva's make along. And then I have my final blanket. I actually made two of them. Um, if you want to see the other blanket that I made um, for Mel from Lathalia's Little Hook with Melanie for her make along, I finished that at the end of march so that was the five five nights at freddy's that ripple blanket that was my one of my entries for Mel, uh, mel's make along and this is the other one and this pattern was bernat wavy granny crochet blanket and this one is using two anniversary cakes <laughs> it is so big Oh, you guys, it is so, so very large. Um, I did put a stitch marker in somewhere. It's so big. <laughs> uh, let's see. So this is the bottom. This is where I started. And then here's where I showed you last. So I had like about four feet done at the time. So there's my little stitch marker, my little tiny pumpkin. And then I did, there's, <laughs> there's another five feet. So that's like, it's like a nine foot blanket. <laughs> that's big. <laughs> so I, I really enjoyed this pattern. Oh, it was really nice. Um, I did cut it a little short. I did not go completely to the end of my anniversary cakes because I thought it was getting silly. <laughs> yeah, a, a nine foot blanket. So, and there's like four feet. So, it's a good size. <laughs> Someone very tall can use this blanket. Uh, all right. So, that was my different make-alongs that I am currently participating in. I can't remember if I have anything else. Um, if so, I'm going to probably add it to a finished objects uh, video, but that's where I'm at right now. <laughs> so I think I've got the three that I was um, pretty much finished with, like uh, finished projects. I do have some other ones that are works in progress, but they will be talked about later. Okay, so that is it for this video. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. Hopefully it's not getting too terribly hot. It's been in the 70s here, which is good and a little hot. <laughs> uh, there's no pleasing me, apparently. I'm like, maybe 68. Can we just have 68? <laughs> uh, 
oh well. Um, so I hope you guys are doing well and having a wonderful day or night or whatever it is. I hope it's wonderful.